Welcome to another video. In this video, we will give an overview of the Black Magic Debug Probe and getting this set up in Visual Micro. First, the Black Magic Probe itself. The board we have is from 1 bit squared and costs around 60 US dollars, and it is also possible to build your own probe from another device, such as an ESP8266 which we will show later. The Blackmagic Probe supports both JTAG and SWD protocols, so it can be used on a range of platforms, including SAM, SAMD, NRF52, STM32, and more. It also tolerates 3 to 5 volt targets, however, the probe can only supply 100 milliamps of power to the target board, so powering the target board separately is generally a must when using this probe. It comes with a 0.05 inch 10 pin JTAG connector on the top and a 4 pin breakout for power and serial pass through underneath, both with cables supplied with the purchase probe in the box. Some breakout boards may be needed depending on your target board, which can be found from a variety of suppliers such as Adafruit. Wiring diagrams for pre-configured targets can be found on our website, and other configurations can be added with the custom options available in Visual Micro. Note the orientation of the small ribbon cable connector when connecting the probe to the target boards and any of the adapter boards. So now onto the software setup side. There are no driver changes required for this probe and it presents a separate COM port for GDB debugging as well as a COM port for the serial port and two additional devices which are required for updating the firmware on the probe. To use the probe in Visual Micro is as simple as selecting your board and upload port as normal and then select the debug hardware option and then the Blackmagic probe. This will reveal an additional port option so we can select the GDB port of our probe which is COM26 in my case. If your board also supports the probe for upload, you can select this from the vMicro uploader menu at this point. So now we can set a breakpoint in our sketch and build and upload it to the board as normal and then attach the debugger. Once the debugging session has started, you can reconfigure the breakpoints and step through your code as it executes and inspect live variables. See the video in the top right for a more detailed walkthrough of starting and using the debugging session itself. Also don't forget, you can create one of these probes with additional Wi-Fi capability for only $5 from the ESP8266 board as well, which is well worth investigating if you don't already have a probe. See the Project Hub instructions linked in the top right to learn how to do this and to get it set up in Visual Micro and there is also a video tutorial along with it. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and subscribe to stay up to date with more videos and features.